Hi everyone. So in your accountancy, first chapter is introduction to accounting. So I don't think accounting is very familiar to you, the word accounting or accountancy, but the word business will be very familiar to you. I hope we all are using the term business or company in our daily lives. So here we will learn accounts and its needs or why accounts is very important by starting a business or we'll we'll start a business just imagine okay so i'm going to start a bakery business i wanted to start a bakery business so for this i need a convenient place okay so for bakery business i am going to start a business i decided i wanted to start not just any other business but only bakery business so here to start this, what I need, I need a convenient place, then a room for the bakery, then I don't have enough money to buy a proper building, so I'll take it take it for rent. So I got a very convenient place and a room for rent. Then what we need for the business, we need furnitures, correct? We need furnitures, then interiors for the business. So all these things. Uh, for the building, then for the place, then furnitures, interiors or everything, what we need? We need money. Okay. So, I uh, calculated how much is required and all. Then I came to know that I need approximately 5 lakhs rupees to start the business. So, for that, I, I don't have 5 lakhs rupees to take. So, what I did? I asked my friends, relatives and banks. So, at the end, I got 5 lakhs. And this 5 lakhs is my initial investment in the business. Okay. So this is called capital. This 5 lakhs is called as capital. My investment in the business. Okay. So capital is not only money. Okay. But also money is worth. Money or money is worth. Which I am investing in my business is called capital. So when, uh, my, when I thought. Okay. I have a laptop at home which is worth rupees 25,000. So what I decided, okay, I'll take that laptop to the business. So now my capital is 5 lakhs rupees what I already gained, uh, earned from my friends and 25,000 uh, 25, worth rupees laptop. So total is 5,25,000 is my total capital. 5 lakh rupees as cash and 25,000 worth rupees laptop. Hope you understood what is capital. So, may why I started business actually, not to serve, not only to serve the society, but my main aim is to earn profit. If main aim of every business is to earn profit. So here my aim also to earn profit. So the bakery got inaugurated and started business. It is going very well. So I started to write all the expenses daily expenses and income in a diary or in a book so one year over i wanted to check whether i got profit or loss so for that what i'll do so how will i know whether i have profit or my business is not that good and i'm getting profit uh, loss so for that i started to add all my income and then deduct all my expenses so that is how i got my profit so i, I came to know that okay this year is very good and I got profit. I'll repeat. I added all my income or revenue and from that I deduct all my expenses. So the difference. If the income is more than the expense that is called as profit. So do you think uh, writing in a diary or in a book the daily expenses and daily income is good to calculate? It is very difficult. You will be knowing the bakery business is it is uh, so many transactions will be there daily okay not only one transactions so it, it is not that easy to confirm or to find out my profit or loss at the end of the year so many transactions will be there and it will not be in order and very difficult and at the end uh, if i am getting so much profit i have to pay tax to the government all those things so if i wanted to pay tax it is not wise to uh, give my diary or the book which in which I am entering to the government or to the tax authorities to find the profit. So it should be in a in an orderly way. Okay. So 
uh, it is very important thing to be understood that honor and the business are not same okay i started the business so the business is mine no business is different or the bakery is different i am different my assets are different bakery's assets are different hope you are understanding so both are different persons bakery is a different person considered as a different person and the owner is also a different person example i invested 5 lakhs rupees in the bakery okay so in the bakery's point of view bakery got 5 lakhs rupees from the person or from the owner like a loan so the capital is considered as a loan okay it is from the owner so every transaction should be seen from the business point of view and then to be recorded hope you understood okay now we'll come to accounting okay we'll see in detail what is accounting what is the meaning so here comes the meaning of accounting according to american institute of certified public accountants that is aicpa defined accounting as the art of recording classifying and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money transactions and events which are in part at least of financial character and interpreting the results thereof so in simple terms how we will de de uh, describe accounting accounting is recording classifying summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money okay now comes the nature of accounting so uh, these are the nature economic event identification measurement recording and communication organization interested users of information we'll go in detail first point is economic event so events or transactions which are measurable in terms of money or monetary terms that is called economic event so example purchase of a machinery so here buying buying of the machinery then transportation then installation everything in, involves money or cash so it is an economic event an event involves if an event involves transactions between outsider and an organization these are known as external events i'll repeat the events which involve transactions between an outsider and the organization or the business is known as external events example sale of goods to consumers then payment of monthly rent to landlord etc so the landlord is an outsider outside the business again the customer also outside the business next one an event that occurs entirely between the internal wings of an organization or enterprises known as internal events the activities which taken place within the organization example supply of raw materials by store department to manufacturing department or payment of wages to employees etc hope you understood economic event so now the second point is identification measurement recording and communication so identification means determining what transaction to record it involves observing activities and selecting those events that are that are of considered financial character and relate to the organization okay and second one is measurement it means quantification of business transactions into financial terms by using monetary un units that is rupees or paisa as a measuring unit so if an event cannot be quantified in monetary terms it is not considered of uh, recording in financial accounts i'll repeat if an account if an event cannot be quantified in monetary terms then it is not considered for recording in financial accounts so next point is recording so once the economic events are identified and measured in financial terms these are recorded in books of account in monetary terms next one is communication so the information is regularly communicated to the internal and external users through accounting reports okay so the organization will be communicating with the internal and external users 
through the accounting reports and the next one is next main point is organization organization refers to a business enterprise whether for profit or not profit motive okay normally the main aim of every business organization is making profit but there are non profit organization also depending upon the size of activities and level of business operation it can be sole proprietorship proprietorship then partnership firm cooperative society company or municipal corporation etc next one is interested users of information many users need financial information in order to make important decisions so there are just we have seen internal and external users so internal users include chief executive financial officer vice president business unit managers store managers etc then the external users include present and potential investors that is the shareholders creditors creditors involved banks and other financial institutions etc then tax authorities registrar of company securities exchange board of india etc hope you understood the nature of accounting okay next the objective of accounting so what are the main objectives of accounting first one is maintenance of maintenance of records of business transactions accounting is used for the maintenance of a systematic record of all financial transactions in books of account the recorded information enables verifiability and acts as an evidence so next point is calculation of profit or loss another objective of accounting is to ascertain ascertain the profit earned or loss by a business during an accounting period profit means it is the excess of revenue over income sorry profit means the excess of revenue or income over expenses and loss is the total expense exceed the total revenue okay so i'll repeat profit means when the income is more than the expense that is called profit that difference is called as profit then loss means when the expenses is more than the income that difference is called as loss next point depiction of financial position so accounting helps to ascertain ascertain the financial position of business concerned in the form of its assets and liabilities at the end of every accounting period a proper record of resources owned by the business organization that is assets and claims against such resources that is called liabilities helps the preparation of a statement known as balance sheet which we prepare at the end of the year next point is providing accounting information to its users accounting information in the form of reports statements graphs etc to the users who need it in the different decision decision situation so again we learned internal and external users so the internal users mainly the management who needs time to information on cost profitability etc for planning controlling and decision making then external users who have limited authority to obtain information and they are investors trade union then lenders and financial institutions then suppliers government consumers and competitors so next point is the role of accounting so what is the role of accounting accounting describes and analyzes a mass of data of an organization through measurement classification and summarization and reduces those into reports and statements these reports and statements shows the financial conditions and results of operations of that enterprise so accounting is regarded as the language of business it collects and communicates economic information about an enterprise to a wide variety of interested parties and the accounting information should be reliable relevant understandable and comparable i hope you understood the meaning of uh, accounting then why we need accounting etc okay thank you